Hello everybody and welcome back to our 121 Minecraft survival world. So, um, yeah. This is not the first time I've recorded this intro. This is the second? Third? I don't know. But anyway, basically, Recently, I updated my Minecraft world to 1.21, and in turn ended up getting the new replay mod for the new version, and basically it decided to be a little funky, and it won't let me download, like, any of my recordings, and so I kind of have to go back through and re-record some of it including this clip here, um, and so I'm gonna do my best to make the video as similar and keep it as organized and clean throughout as possible, however, being that I do have to re-record some stuff, it may not all be perfect and there may be some little things missing, um, so I do apologize for that. But I'm going to do my best to try and make sure that I include everything that I did and just generally get this video done and over with and maybe not use replay mod or at least if I can figure it out then that's fine too but if not then maybe we'll just kind of toss that off to the side and just record it without. Anyway though, um... I think that's about all I had to say about that, so I guess let's get to what we have to do today, shall we? Alright, so I got the mending books, I've put one on the chest plate, and I've got the other one. However, we are at level 30, so I thought we would enchant something first. Thinking I go with the pickaxe, we'll see what we get. That is literally exactly what I wanted. Okay. Then we have Unbreaking 3 on the boots. Density 4. Oh, I forgot about the new enchantments. Um, so now the question is, do we put the mending book on the pants or do we put it on the self-touch book? Or the self-touch pickaxe? Interesting. Because I, I don't have enough to get another one and I don't think I'm going to be able to get enough emeralds to get another one. Um... So, probably the pants. Just because we need more armor. I'm gonna smelt a little bit of the copper quickly. Um, and I'm gonna make a brush. Because I know to get the scoots from the armadillos, which we need for wolf armor. We need a brush. And then also if we find any like suspicious sand or suspicious gravel, then we have one for that as well. Um So, I think it's about time we get adventuring. Let me grab a boat quickly. Uh, take the birch boat. And. I don't know which way I want to go. We've gone that way already, because that's where the village is. We came in from that way when we first got here. So maybe, and also there, there is water here, so maybe we go that way. And we'll see what we find. So as we headed out on our adventure, I actually ended up finding quite a few different things. So, Quite nearby our base, I actually ran into a flower forest. 
which happen to also be right next to some sunflower fields, I believe they're called. Which was pretty cool. So we've got lots of flowers that we can go grab if we need any dyes, or even if we just need flowers for decorating. So that's good. As we continued out, I also did end up running into a village or two, which pretty useful. Didn't get anything like amazing from them, but it's always nice to know that there's a few villages around. We can get some villagers, got some hay, and if we are ever looking for cats, we know where to find some. And then also, while we were wandering, we ended up finding some armadillos. And maybe it's just me, but to get the scoots from the armadillo to make uh, wolf armor, you have to use a brush, right? Now, I had a brush on me that I decided to craft before heading on this adventure as I was I believe I mentioned. And, you know, I was expecting, you know, oh, I'd brush the armadillo once or twice, I'd get some scoots, and then it wouldn't let me brush it anymore. Or, I don't know. Something like that, anyway. I brushed the armadillos quite a few times. They're like, oh, three three times I was kind of, like, I, I kind of did it, like, a few times in a row, and it was like, oh, it's still letting me do this to the same armadillo. I did it a fourth time to the same one, and the brush broke. I tried using it on multiple different armadillos, and it did the same thing. Why would it break after four? That just seems unreasonable. And isn't it five to craft the armor anyway? It's a little weird. Anyway, we continued on our adventure and ended up actually finding something far more important. And that something was actually a coral reef. And you might be wondering, well, why is a coral reef? You're not doing a water theme, so what's the coral going to do? And honestly, the important thing about the coral reef was not the coral itself. It was actually the sea pickles. Because the sea pickles are actually something I actually really quite enjoy decorating with. And not only that, but um, being that the sea pickles are green, they actually match our theme very well and are very useful to just kind of be able to tuck into the leaves and such while we're decorating just to fill the space a bit better. And also, as you can probably see, we also found a mesa. So if we ever need any terracotta, we've got an amassing amount of it. And as we continued wandering, past the mesa, I also ended up finding a spruce forest, so we could finally get some spruce wood, because I never grabbed some when we first ran into it in episode one. Alright, so I've just gotten back and put everything away. Oh, hello. Do you have anything I want? Not really. Okay, never mind. Um... But yeah, I've just gotten back, I've put all my stuff away, and I guess the question then becomes, what else are we going to do today? And I was kind of thinking, we've got our new dog here, which is going to need a name. If any of you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comment section down below, I would love to hear them. Um, but we also have our camel over here that we haven't really done anything with. I brought him back, and he's been tied here to the bridge since what episode three or something i don't even remember it's been a while 
So, I was thinking maybe we build some sort of stable or something. And honestly, maybe that could even go over here somewhere near the barn. Just as somewhere for the camel and even the dog can probably stay there for now. Just so that they're not in the rain. Because this is ridiculous. Like, it rains a lot. It's kind of ridiculous. Um... Yeah, can we clear that up? Thank you. I don't want my bitrate dropping on this video, please. <laughs> um, yeah. So honestly, I think we should probably get some materials together, and then we can go ahead and throw together a stable or something of the sort just over here. I think honestly just throwing it in right here next to the barn could be cute. And honestly, maybe we even do it on an angle. That could be fun bit of a challenge, maybe. So I ended up designing this build in creative for kind of bringing it over with minor adjustments in survival. So in general, my idea was I had on the right side two sort of pens, I guess, for one for my camel and then one for a horse or a donkey or whatever if we end up getting one whereas on the left side I have a shorter or lower roof part for the dog to sit and then also another little sort of courtyard kind of on the in the back corner there which is why there's no walls kind of put up there yet because there's not going to be um, I kind of kept with a similar color palette to all the other builds with our jungle, our mud, and our mangrove wood, but I also ended up including a little bit of the spruce wood that we just got in the roof. I think that the spruce wood works really well in this palette because it kind of pulls those darker brown colors from the mud. So the mud is kind of like the transfer between the spruce and the jungle, which is really nice. But yeah, other than that, I don't really think I have much to say, so I'll just let you all watch.
All right, this is our stables, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. So I've gone ahead with using our usual stuff, our jungle wood, our mud bricks. We've got a little bit of mangrove in there, as you can see. We've got a little bit of mossy cobble. But I've also added quite a bit of spruce wood into this now that we have it. Just because, to be honest, I think it works really well. We've got a nice little skylight up here. As we've continued to use the lime green glass. We've also got like the coarse dirt, the moss, and everything in the floor. And honestly, I think it looks really good, and I think it really fits this space and has filled this in quite well. So now, I think realistically, this is the only empty space if you stand at it, stand from here. But we've got, I've got some plans for that, so we'll get to that in another episode. Anyway, yeah, I guess let's head inside. So over here, we've got a little spot for our dog. As I said earlier, we don't have a name. If any of you have any suggestions, I would love to see some in the comment section. And we've also got our camel moved in here. Same thing with our camel. Don't actually have a name for him yet. So if you've got any suggestions, I would love to see them in the comments. We've got this little sort of outdoorsy area. We've got the skylight. It's pretty open. Might add a few custom trees and a few more decorations out here a bit later. But I don't think we need to rush through everything at once. And then I've also got another pen here so we can get a horse or maybe a donkey or something. And yeah. Nothing too crazy. But I, again, I really think it fills this space in quite well. And I do like that the two sides are not quite even. I think it gives it a little bit more character. Um, yeah. Honestly, I think that this whole area is starting to slowly come together. And, as I said, I th think that that's probably going to be about it today. Um, because, I mean, I would continue working on enchanting. But we've been doing that since, like, episode 2. Consistently, in, like, every single one, and I think it's probably getting a little old. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this in between episodes. I'll probably record it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but... Um, so we'll see if we can get unbreaking and mending on this. See if we can throw mending on this as well and maybe get protection... Three, another protection 3 or even protection 4 book so that we can have this maxed out on protection anyway. Maybe not completely maxed out. I don't remember all of what goes on the helmet, to be honest. Um, and then see if we can get some feather falling and protection and stuff on the boots. See if we can get, like, sharpness, maybe fire aspect, something like that on the sword. And then we have the book there, so if we maybe get protection or unbreaking or something for any of these, really, then we can grab that. Yeah, I think I'm going to work on that off camera, or at least in between episodes. So it's not too boring to sit and watch. <laughs> um, and yeah. I don't know what we're going to actually do in the next episode. We might work up there a little. Maybe we'll, I mean, maybe we'll work over here, connecting this all up a little bit better. Could go do some stuff in the nether. Or, honestly, we could even work over here on some of the stuff I've got planned for this space. Lots of options, and I don't know what I want to do first. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone!